let us understand momentum slightly tricky topic but very very interesting the questions on it are very very fun to solve so let us start this topic on momentum what is momentum it has a very very simple formula mass times velocity momentum of any moving object is its mass times its velocity simple formula to start with so when you look at the formula what should be the unit of momentum easy the unit of mass is kg the unit for velocity is meters per second so what is the unit of momentum you multiply both the units kg meters per second so that's how you derive the unit for any particular quantity from its formula this is something that we have done in the video of derived units si and derived units all right so the unit of momentum is kg meters per second you need not remember the unit you need not memorize it's very easy and quick to find out from its formula so is it a vector or a scalar quantity next question is momentum a vector or a scalar quantity look at the formula again mass times velocity velocity is a vector quantity we all know because there is a vector in the formula for momentum so momentum by itself is also a vector so momentum is a vector quantity again this is something that you need not memorize why it comes from the formula all right so let's move on for example if a model car has a mass of 2 kgs and a velocity of 3 meters per second its momentum is mass times velocity 2 kg times 3 meters per second so 6 kg per kg meters per second right easy simple formula not so difficult so far and believe me it's going to be not difficult as we move through the video as well one more concept to understand like velocity momentum is a vector momentum is a vector so momentum can have a plus or a minus sign which is used to indicate its direction so for example, if the momentum of car moving to the left is 6 meters per second, the momentum of a car moving in the opposite direction, left, would be minus 6. If the momentum of a car moving towards the right is 6 meters per second, momentum of a car, same car moving with the same velocity in the opposite direction will be negative 6 meters per second, will be understanding the application for it as we proceed through this lesson and as we solve some of the practice questions in this video so on this slide we are going to understand the law of conservation of momentum so be not scared because this is a very very easy topic just relax and pay attention the problems, the questions on the law of conservation of momentum are very, very fun to solve. If you understand the concepts well, which is again not very technical, they are quite easy, right? Only thing is you have to do is to pay attention, right? So let us focus here what is happening. Let us go step by step. Please focus on the first picture here. So focus on where I tell you to focus do not pay attention anywhere else on the screen let us focus on the first picture what do you see you see two balls ball a and ball b they are moving towards each other you see the two arrows which is depicting that they are moving towards each other so if there are two objects which are moving towards each other what will happen ultimately they'll collide right they'll collide after their collision after their collision maybe they'll rebound two balls a and b moving towards each other they collide after collision they move away from each other as what is happening in picture number two now you can look at picture number two 
picture one the balls are moving towards each other and picture number two the balls after collision they are now moving opposite to each other pay attention to the arrows as well to understand their direction of motion collision means they hit each other and then they be bounded right so this is what is happening in this scenario the thing which is happening is collision all right so let us understand the before collision scenario and then we'll understand the after collision scenario so please focus on the blue box where i am putting a tick do not even look at the red box right now so if you focus on the blue box it contains information related to picture number one right say that the mass of the ball a is ma you're given the mass of ball a mass of ball b is mb you're given their masses you're also given their speeds the velocity of ball a is va the velocity of ball b is bb you're given their masses you're given their velocities you can find the momentum before collision that's what we are going to do we are going to find the momentum before collision momentum before collision would be the sum of the individual momentums momentum of a momentum of a plus the momentum of b you have to add the individual momentums that is the total momentum of ball a and b before the collision happened right and it's not difficult to find very easy so far so total momentum before collision is ma momentum of a which is mava plus momentum of b mb bb mava ma times va gives the momentum of a mb times bb gives the momentum of b right so first thing you have done you have calculated the momentum before collision now you can pay attention to the red box but please now pay attention to red box only and nowhere else red box and the second picture right what has happened now collision has happened the balls are now moving away right moving away with different velocities will the mass change the balls have not broken apart that the mass would change the mass stays the same the mass of a is ma as it was earlier the mass of b is mb as it was earlier only the velocities have changed the velocity of a is va dash right either you call it dash or prime different students have their own ways of calling this so please notice that this sign b a dash the velocity of b has also changed which is bb dash look at the sign bb dash right so they have different velocities but the mass is still the same so how do you find the momentum after collision again simple steps momentum of a plus the momentum of b simple and easy so what is the new momentum of a mass of a times the new velocity of a m a times v a dash the new momentum of b m b times v b dash right so that's your two things done which were easy to do you calculated momentum before collision momentum after collision let us put a star here so that you remember the two, two things that you have done you have calculated momentum before collision you have calculated the momentum after collision now you apply a law what is that law that law is law of conservation of momentum so this is the law that we are talking about you apply the law of conservation of momentum you are conserving the momentum you are not losing the momentum this is what this means what does it mean the momentum which was before collision is equal to the momentum after collision you have not lost momentum here or there total momentum is still intact and conserved what do you have to do 
momentum before collision which is this part you copy it here this is your momentum before collision it is equal to the momentum after collision which is this part just equate them just equate them that's it simple and easy so solving the questions on momentum the law of conservation of momentum it is easy all you need to understand is that you have to apply the steps that you have understood just now so let me give you what steps are we talking about first thing you calculate the momentum before collision this is your step one then what do you do you calculate the momentum after the collision this is your step two then the third thing is that you write you state that the law of conservation of momentum tells you that momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision so i'm going to equate step one and step two you're going to equate the answers that you get from step one and step two and you can input the values and whatever formulas that you can uh, will, will create and you can find the missing variables so let us practice solving questions which relate to the fundamentals you have just learned believe me it's going to be very simple and very very fun because now that you have understood all the three steps so let us take up this word example number one when two trolleys above collide they stick together what is their velocity after the collision right so you are given two pictures here before the collision and after the collision right before and after solving questions on momentum i've always told you it's a three-step process step one find the momentum before collision step two find the momentum after collision what is p now p p is the short term for momentum p stands for momentum in physics we represent the term momentum by letter p right and the third step is to equate them momentum before collision you'll have to equate with momentum after collision right so before we start solving the question before we start applying the three-step process we'll have to take one direction as positive right so i've given you some hints solve this question you can pause the video for a moment solve the question and come back play the video again to see the to see the working all right so let us understand the working before you start solving the question you have to take one direction as positive because momentum is a vector so you have to take up one direction as positive so let us say let us say that left to right is your positive direction right for all are working in this question any vector which is from left to right will take it as positive any vector which will be right to left will take it as negative right let us look at the trolley a its velocity is left to right so it is two meters per second it is a positive vector its mass is also given when you look at trolley b its velocity is opposite to our positive direction its velocity is opposite right the velocity here is opposite to the positive direction that we have taken so we'll have to reverse this velocity when you reverse the vector what happens when you reverse the vector its sign changes its sign also reverses so the velocity of b in the direction in which we are working we are working everything left to right so the direction that we are working is left to right left to right velocity of b would be minus 3 we'll have to convert the velocity of b left to right because we are working in left to right direction so the velocity of b is minus 3 
in all our calculation will not use 3 but will use minus 3 because minus 3 direction is in the same direction in which we are working right left to right everything should be left to right you can either work left to right or right to left whichever direction you are choosing at the beginning of the question please stick to it right so step number one step number one let us find the momentum before collision right momentum p before collision before collision so momentum before collision would be momentum of A plus the momentum of B. How much is the momentum of A? 2 times 1. Let us write mass first because momentum is said as mass times velocity. So 1 mass multiplied by its velocity 2 plus momentum of B its mass 4 multiplied by minus 3. Alright, so it becomes 2 minus 12. Minus, your answer should be minus 10 meters, sorry, kg meters per second. That's your momentum before collision. Step number 1 done. Step number 2 momentum after collision after collision now we are here we have to find the momentum after collision all right so momentum after collision is momentum of a plus momentum of b in this scenario you have to find its velocity Right? That's what the question is asking you. Say that this velocity is V. Right? So how much is the momentum of A? The, the trolleys, they stick together. Right? They are moving together. So that means A and B both are moving together. They have stuck together. They both are moving at the same velocity. So mass of A, which is 1. Mass of A is 1 times V plus mass of B is 4 times B. 1B plus 4V is how much? 5V. So momentum after collision is 5V. Now the third step, equate your step 1 and step 2. Third step is equate your working from step 1 with the working in step 2. So let us apply the third step. Where it comes from? From the law of conservation, conservation of momentum states. What does it states? Momentum before collision should be equal to momentum after collision. What is the momentum before collision? Minus 10. It should be equal to momentum after collision 5. V. So please do not get scared when you see a negative sign and do not ignore it. Please carry it forward. Do not try to get rid of it because negative sign always has a significance in physics or maths. Right? Stick with the negative sign. So the velocity is minus 2 meters per second. What does minus 2 mean? Minus 2 mean that our assumption that the velocity is left to right here. Our assumption that the velocity is left to right is wrong. But rather, the trolleys stick together and how do they move? They are actually moving right to left. The trolleys are actually moving right to left. Right? This is what it means. That both the trolleys are sticking together and ultimately they are moving right to left. 
answer should be velocity is 5 meters per second right to left so solving questions and momentum are not difficult very easy all you have to do you have to use the three-step process let us practice a few more questions so here we have worked example number two pause your screen for a moment come back and play the video all right so let us read the question and understand a 5 kg trolley a mass is given is pushed at a velocity 1.2 meters per second it is pushed the velocity and mass for the trolley a is given into a stationary trolley you have a stationary trolley that means its velocity is zero of mass 1.5 kgs the two trolleys stick together to each other after the impact they are also stick together now let us answer part a so question a says calculate the momentum of the 0.5 kg trolley before the collision the term 2 here is wrong you have to find the momentum of 0.5 kg trolley so what is the momentum of that trolley the trolley name is a so the momentum of the trolley a is its mass multiplied by velocity simple formula for the momentum right so input the values in the formula 0 0.5 is the mass multiplied by its velocity 1.2 the momentum is 0 0.6 kg meters per second let us tally our answer momentum is mass times velocity you'll get your answer calculate the velocity of the true trolleys straight after the impact straight after the impact okay so here again we'll have to use the three-step process what is the step one step one is momentum before collision that is the momentum of a plus momentum of B. How much is the momentum of A? Momentum of A is its mass times its velocity plus the momentum of B is its mass times its velocity which is zero. Momentum of A plus momentum of B together is 0 0.6 kg meters per second. So we are solving part B as a three step approach so this is your step number one s1 step one what is your step two momentum after collision again it is the new momentum of a plus the new momentum of b new momentum right what is the new momentum let us say that they are moving now with the velocity b you have to calculate the velocity of the two trolleys after the impact let us say that they are moving with a velocity of v right what is the new momentum of v 0 0.5 times v plus the mass of v which is 1.5 times v both the trolleys stick together stick together and they move together so they'll have the same velocity you can take v common so it becomes 0 0.5 plus 1.5 which is 2v what is the step 3 now equate the momentums equate your step 1 which is momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision believe me if you go step by step it will be slightly lengthy but it will take lesser time because your approach is going to be perfect and you'll not make any mistake many students whom i have taught in the past as momentum as a three-step process they come to a shortcut if you are comfortable if your maths is good come to a shortcut or else please do it step by step you'll never make mistakes in, in the questions on momentum right so it becomes 0 0.6 is equal to 2v so v is how much 
0 0.3 meters per second. Let us tally our answer. Yes. Our answer is correct. All right. So please do remember the three-step process. Let us take up one more example. Please solve this question. Take a moment, pause the video and come back. All right, so what is happening in the question? A 3000 kg truck moving at a velocity of 60 meters per second crashes into the back of a stationary 1000 kg car. The two vehicles together move together immediately after the impact, calculate their velocity. So whenever you have, whenever you are given the question on momentum, and there is no diagram. This question is different from the previous one in that, that there is no diagram here. So the first step should be you draw the diagram. So what is the before scenario, before picture? Before picture is that there is a big truck and it smashes into a small car. Let us write down the data as well. 3000 kg mass here the mass is 1000 kg the velocity of the truck is 16 meters per second the velocity of the car is zero stationary right stationary contains the term stationary contains the information zero what happens after The truck, let us call the truck as T and the car as C. They both stick together. Right? And then they move together with a velocity V. This is what you have to find, the velocity V. Let us say that the velocity is V. Let us use our three-step process. Step one. What is step one? You have to calculate the momentum before collision. This is the momentum of the truck plus the momentum of the car. What is the momentum of the truck? The mass of the car, sorry, the mass of the truck multiplied by its velocity, 16, plus the momentum of the car is 1000 multiplied by its velocity, which is zero stationary right zero meters per second so how much is the momentum before collision times 60 right i'm not going to solve it we'll see if some striking works out here and there later on and the and the simplify and there is a simplification in the multiplication so let's leave it here itself what is step two It is the momentum after collision. Momentum of the truck, let's say new momentum, prime, new momentum of the car. You add them. So what is happening? They are getting stuck, right? And they are moving together. So what is the total mass after getting stuck? It's 4,000 times the velocity. So 3,000 plus 1000. Either you add their masses. What I'm trying to do here, let me explain. I am adding up the mass of the truck plus the mass of the car multiplied by their combined velocity. We are adding the masses. Why? Because they are stuck together. Or you can do it individually as well. This is same as momentum of the truck plus the momentum of the car. Same thing, individually or, or together, same thing. This is together, mass combined times velocity, which is same as individual momentums, right? So it becomes 3000 V plus 1000 V, 4000 what is step three? 
you equate what you have in your step one and step two so momentum before collision equals momentum after collision so it becomes 33,000 times 16 equal to 4,000 as I said that there might be some striking out later on so let's not solve all the multiplication and other things right so this becomes 4 threes are 12 velocity is coming out to be 12 meters per second let us tally our answer even I am not aware what is the answer here 12 we are right so that's how the questions on momentum are done if you still have some doubts you can ask in the comment box. I'll try and answer each and every one of them. Let us now do one more worked example. Now this is a case of explosion. Right? Explosion means before, before scenario is that the two objects are together and they are stuck together. They are one body, they are stuck together and they are not moving. Then they explode. They explode into two pieces. One piece moves in one direction, the other piece moves in other direction. Let us look at the real life meaning of explosion as well. One of the things that we know of that explodes is a bomb. So when a bomb explodes, various of its high energy particles, they scatter everywhere in the atmosphere. So there is one piece of bomb which explodes and divides into multiple pieces and each piece moves with a velocity randomly in the atmosphere. That's explosion. That's precisely what is happening here. So you think that this first picture is a bomb sitting idle. Bomb sits idle until it explodes. Initially the bomb is sitting idle, zero velocity. So you have two trolleys. You have two trolleys stuck together they are sitting idle right their velocity is z zero the combined velocity is zero they are sticking together then you take a ruler and press up button here as soon as you press the button the mechanism here it creates a spring kind of a action and both the trolleys they push against each other and they move in in opposite direction so the before scenario is the trolley, the two trolleys are sticking together and sitting with a velocity zero, no movement. You press this button, both the trolleys, they rush in opposite direction with some velocities, right? So initially because both the trolleys are at rest, the momentum of trolley A is zero, the momentum of trolley B is also zero, right? Take one direction as positive. Let us say that this direction is positive. What is the momentum of trolley A after the explosion? This is not collision. This is explosion. Right? In collision, two particles come and collide. In explosion, one particle, one single system, as so shown in the picture here, one single system, it explodes into two or more parts. Right? So one trolley moves in one direction, other trolley moves in other direction. Their momentums are given here. You can calculate it by multiplying their mass and velocity, mass and velocity. Here if you see, it is coming out to be 2 kg meters per second towards the left. And for trolley B, it is coming out to be 2 kg meters per second towards the right. So what was the total momentum? What was the total momentum? before explosion now i'm using the term e because it is not collision it is explosion the total momentum was zero plus zero it was zero earlier what was the total momentum after the explosion after the explosion it is minus two here minus two because you'll have to convert the momentum in the direction in which we are working. This is our direction of working. We are working left to right. We are taking everything left to right as positive. 
So if you convert this momentum, if you convert this momentum left to right, it becomes minus 2. Minus 2 kg, kg meters per second left to right. And this is 2 kg meters per second left to right. So what is the total momentum after collision? Minus 2 plus 2 zero. So here also if you see the momentum is conserved. Momentum before explosion is equal to momentum after explosion. Right? This is what we have understood. So be it a case of collision, be it a case of explosion, the momentum always stays conserved. So whatever I have said, it is written in the box here. Please try to read it now and see if it makes sense. Everything I have already explained. Momentum of trolley A minus 2, momentum of trolley B plus 2, total momentum of the trolleys. This is your after explosion and this is the momentum before explosion. Both are 0. Let us now solve a question on on explosion, right? Let us practice a question on explosion. So here you have a picture. Let us understand. An artillery gun of mass 2000 kg fires a shell of mass 20 kg at a velocity of 120 meters per second. Calculate the recoil velocity of the gun. Let us understand. So this is your gun. Initially, the bullet that you see here, it was a part of the gun. The bullet was inside, right? This bullet that you see here, which is now come outside, which is after the explosion. Before the explosion, the bullet was inside. Before the explosion took place, before explosion, The gun and the bullet were the same body. They were the same body. Right? They were the same system. They were the same body. After the explosion, the picture that you see here, it is after explosion. picture that you see here is after explosion. The bullet has come out and the gun is separate. The two bodies have separated from each other. Right? So we have to be clear that this is an example of explosion. All you have to do, very simple, apply the three steps. Right? So what was the momentum before the explosion? Let us go step by step. Step number one, as always, momentum before. Step one is momentum before. This is a case of explosion. So momentum before explosion is zero. Because initially the gun was at rest. With the bullet inside it, everything was at rest, like an atom bomb or any bomb. It was sitting idle, nothing happening. Speed was zero. Why? because the speed was zero, right? Therefore, the momentum is zero. What is the momentum after, after the explosion? It is the momentum of the gun plus the momentum of the bullet, right? So how much is the momentum of the gun? Let us say that the recoil velocity of the gun is V. Let us say that the recoil velocity of the gun is V. So what is happening? The bullet is going in one direction at a speed of 20, 120 meters per second. Bullet is going in one direction at 120 meters per second and it has a mass of 20 kg. 
the mass and the velocity of the bullet is given. The mass of the gun is given as 2000 kg and it will recoil say at a velocity v. In which direction will the gun recoil? It will recoil backwards. So whenever the bullet goes, is shot, the gun always recoils backwards, right? Right? So what is the momentum of the gun? Mass times the velocity, so which is 2000 v plus, what is the momentum of the bullet? 20 times 120. So what is this equal to? 2000 V. This is equal to 2, 4, followed by two zeros, right? Now what is the third step? Third step is to equate momentum with 4. Explosion will be equal to momentum after explosion you have to equate these two so momentum before was zero this is equal to 2000 v plus 2400 so v is how much 2400 divided by 2000 so what is the answer sorry it is a negative answer, right? This 2000 moves on the other side, it becomes negative. So minus 1.2 meters per second. A minus answer here depicts, a minus answer here depicts that the velocity of the gun and the velocity of the bullet are in the opposite direction. Why? Because the sign of the velocity of the bullet is a positive sign and the sign of the velocity of the gun is a negative sign positive and negative sign opposite sign so that means the velocities are in the opposite direction so this was your example on explosion that's how you practice questions on explosion as well as there be more videos that you can find out where we have taken up exam style questions on momentum So the next video will be on impact forces. If you still have any queries on momentum, keep me posted in the comment box. I'll clarify each one of your stout.